Thank you very much. So I have an electrical engineering degree from the University of Ibadan and uh, I have an advanced degree in engineering management from Tufts University in the United States and I've been running business in Nigeria uh, for more than 16 years because I've run business in Nigeria and the United States but mostly in Nigeria in the last 16 years. Okay, so um, Delon Academy started a few years ago and um, I would say in, in all my businesses I would say two, two things motivate me the most. One is my desire to hire people, my desire to generate employment and I know that I have to create opportunities, I have to uh, create businesses to generate employment of course I want to make money but I would say that uh, when you consider all the challenges in Nigeria you must have you know some key driving points uh, <clears throat> so generating employment motivates me a lot I want to work hard for my to keep my staff going to keep the health insurance going second has also been uh, adding value uh, to people uh, upskilling um, and that's why you know even in my original business I used to have a power company and many of my staff <clears throat> I'm always proud of my staff uh, when they resign to go do bigger things you know you know many of my staff leave to do great things I've always enjoyed adding value to people uh, I'm always excited when they do greater things when they leave and so but in recent years I've, I started thinking more about how do I really add value you know to people on a larger scale you know and especially with this jackpot phenomenon Nigerians relocating from Nigeria, uh, I've been dreaming about how to, you know, upskill. You know, uh, when you look at the unemployment in Nigeria, um, one way we can solve unemployment is to upskill our people, educate our people. And uh, I've, I've been talking about state governments, the need for state governments to do better than they're doing right now. And uh, for me, I just don't talk. I want to try my best to walk the talk, to do the little I can do. And so in this area, I started talking to some of our clients about training in recent years. And um, some of them have started buying it, you know. So I would say that, um, so then to tell you a little bit about Delon. So we have three main products in Nigeria, three brands. One is the Delon Jobs, which has it. We have a job site. We also provide recruitment services to companies, mostly the banks. So tech recruitment is our specialty. We do some other ones. Uh, occasionally, Jalon uh, Apps, which is uh, which focuses on app development as well as outsourcing. Um, outsourcing is great. We, we currently have uh, more than 100 staff, you know, running to 200 soon. Uh, in that space, so we're happy. We generate employ. We're generating employment through that. That's our business process outsourcing. We are uh, providing, um, you know, virtual assistants, telemarketers, customer service representatives to different companies in and out of Nigeria. And then we have a Delon Academy, um, which is providing training. In the last one year or so, we have trained over a hundred engineers in the banking sector. And um, we have uh, three major products, and that's so the Delon Academy is probably our newest baby, and I really love it because we're able to add value. You know, when you train people, uh, you're adding value to the, especially in this, this is more of enterprise training, uh, B2B, and we, when we do that, we're adding value to the client, helping them to reduce the cost of having to recruit. Uh, you know experts but not just the cost it's become very difficult to find suitable people in recent times and so companies are struggling and we're trying to solve that problem for them by training their people but we also add value to the individuals because the individuals are not going to work in that company forever at some point they will leave um, so it's adding value to them um, you know could take them they'll be there for several years but at some point they might have cost to leave I thought is we're adding value to the country. The more people we upskill in Nigeria, the better for our economy. Every I've always said it, every country must upskill its people. In Nigeria especially, to about 200 million, as they say, our biggest asset is our people, not oil. 
Uh, so for me, I'm excited that we have the opportunity to train uh, people. Uh, you know, I feel super excited. So right now we are we are offering three types of training. Uh, one is um, software development for entry level staff. Some people call them trainees, executive trainees, or you know, whatever. But the idea is um, that we are able to help. For now, it banks. I'll say we've done that for the banks, but we can do it everywhere. We're helping to to train people to start to get ready for the work. So you want developers in your bank, in your company, 10, 20, 40, and you 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 can go through a hiring process, bringing the required people that studied engineering or computer science or people who studied other science courses who are interested in software development and then we can help you train them. We have a three month program, sometimes I breach to two months, intensive, and get them ready to start coding from day one. So that program is full time, intensive, you know, um, you know, train a lot, C, back end, C sharp, .NET, front end, JavaScript, React, JS, CSS, HTML, uh, a lot, DevOps, we'll bring them into different groups, DevOps, Azure DevOps, um, you know, quality assurance, Cypress, uh, Selenium, uh, Jmeter, different tools, uh, Scrum Master, Scrum. So we can help you, you know, break them into groups according to your needs and we provide specialized training to each group. We've done that a couple of times and for the banks and, you know, I think we, we did an excellent job. Uh, and that's, that's for, so it could be even for a small company trying to hire five engineers, ten engineers, and we can provide, just deliver full-time training to get those people ready you know on, on, by, you know by the time you know maybe if you want to do two months training they want of their resumption after two months they're ready to code and i would say that um, the third category the second category of, of people we train uh the developers engineers existing engineers who need some specialized courses you know you, you just want to provide say kubernetes or docker training to your devops engineers rather than go out looking for engineers with those skills you can train people already working with you for us we call that upskilling existing engineers and um, we just come in provide training to sp you know, specialized training to tech people few one or two weeks we're just about providing a training for a bank next week uh, secure coding and that's our uh, security for software you know coding D different from traditional network security um, information security or cyber security. This is a purely uh, secure coding program for software developers. And then we're doing that for a bank that wants to improve their the security of their coding. And that's that's our second product. Which is just we're just coming to provide upskilling to engineers. The third product, which is very exciting to me, is um, um, reskilling, reskilling. Uh, your existing non-stack stuff, um, you know, with your required um, technical s skills. Now, I, I, I love this because I've always told people that because young Nigerians will continue to migrate, they will continue to leave when they get opportunities. You know, I believe many companies, the older companies, you, st you still have some high quality staff who, who have been with you for many years they're in their 40s and um, they have kids some of them are women with kids settled they've built houses around their offices they have kids in the school so they are less likely going to resign quickly abruptly like a younger person and they've been faithful to you for years now what happens in recent times is that when people at 43, 45, 46, companies want to get rid of them as quickly as possible. So when they do something wrong, it's easy to just fire them or retrench them. You know. But I'd say, hey, rather than do that, why don't you check if some of them are willing to transition? Some of them are actually at that age no longer relevant. You know. But rather than getting rid of them, you can help them transition into tech. Not all of them will be able to do it. But there are still a few guys that studied engineering, computer science, me too one those days went to UI, went to IFE, you know, those other schools, top schools in Nigeria, <clears throat> and they're still able to learn. 
uh, you can transition them into areas like Scrum, you know, QA, teach them some coding, DevOps, you know. And you can also do that to help your business. They're going to be more stable and they can really excel. <clears throat> so that's the area, that's the other area that really excites me, is reskilling non-tech staff, helping them to really transition. Uh, and um, we, we're talking to one of our bank clients is showing interest right now and um, it's super exciting to me I really want to add value again like I said it helps the comp country it helps the individual it helps the organization you know so that's um, those are the three uh, solutions we offer right now three training programs you know um, you know software development for entry-level uh, staff uh, upskilling existing engineers um, intermediate junior or senior level uh, providing sub specialty training to them Third is reskilling your non-tech staff uh, uh, with the appropriate uh, technical skills that you require. Yeah, thank you very much. It's been nice talking to you.